If you compare it to Tekken 7, throws in this game are way better. And you have to use them or else the opponents can spam power crushes and heat burst all day against you. While Reyna doesn't have the craziest throw game, if you know the properties of her options, using the right one at the right time can be very rewarding. So let me share with you everything I know about them. Starting with her generic throws, her 1 plus 3 is my favorite one, because it can cause a floor break and depending on the stage you get a different combo. If you get a floor blast, the animation of the explosion realigns you with the opponent so you can follow with whatever basic combo you got. But in a floor break stage, it launches them sideways, making it a bit awkward to juggle the opponent. I found this route here that side switches and looks pretty cool, but you may not want to go for this one because it juggles them away from the wall. So instead, use this route here, which requires a quick sidestep left to get a clean wall splat. Next, we have her 2 plus 4, which is not as exciting, but very useful. Even when they break it, this throw makes you switch sides with the opponent, so this is a great option to use when you just want to escape the wall. Looking at her command grabs, she has the classic Mishima Stonehead, which is a throw that can wall splat and wall break. So it's quite rewarding but also risky because if the opponent escapes it, you switch sides with them, giving them the wall pressure. In the open, the knockdown caused by this throw can be tech rolled, but if the opponent doesn't, because maybe they don't want to deal with your Okizemi, you can get a free ground hit, so that's something to look out for. Anyways, if you have your opponent against a breakable wall, a better option to go for is her signature throw. It deals slightly more damage than the stone head, and while it doesn't wall splat, it still wall breaks for a full combo. And the escape animation is not as punishing. The last two throws are done by pressing a generic throw input during her Sentai and Heaven's Wrath stances. The Sentai one is probably the wackiest, because it deals very little damage and it gives you a pretty awkward Okizemi because her moves often don't cover that many wake up options, so you have to make some hard reads to get any extra damage out of it. This throw is mostly an option to deal with power crushes and heat burst when you go into this stance. At last we have the Heaven's Wrath's throw, which helps a lot with her wall pressure when you go into this stance. It is still useful in the open because it deals more damage than your low option, but it's better at the wall because you can score a wall hit and deal more damage. And that's all I have to share about her throw game. After labbing them, I'm quite surprised at how good her signature throw and the generic 1 plus 3 are. And because counterhead throws are a thing in this game, I guess it doesn't really matter if they are easier to break or not. Oh, and one last thing before I end this video. Usually, we can't punish moves with throws, they can still escape it. But against power crushes, they become unbreakable. So if you are in a floor break stage and you block a punishable power crush, you could use her 1 plus 3 to basically launch punish your opponents. You gotta be very aware to pull this one off, but I guess knowing is half the battle. And if you end up getting the sick punish in a real match, make sure to clip and tag me on Twitter because I really like when people like share this type of stuff like Oh, I learned this punish from you and I won a match because of it. To me, that's super sick. But anyways, I'm talking too much, so I'm gonna end the video right now, okay? See ya.